Karen Katiana is Ollie Bear. Welcome back. It is uh, spring feeder season and Al Bear is starting it off in New Iberia with the iPal production. It's it's a good one. It's a new one and we're learning all about it this morning. Al, tell us. Hey, we are back here, of course, at iPal in New Iberia uh, and with Mitchell Prudham who is the director of One Man, Two Governors. Uh, Mitch, I always like to get the director's spin on this. Uh, how big a cast do you have? We've got 15 people in the cast. And how tough was this to, uh, to cast? Because we're used to coming for musicals. Mm -hmm. This is not a musical. It's kind of a, a, a farcical comedy. Uh, how hard is it to find people who can be funny? Um, it's pretty difficult, and also, whether it's a musical or not, it's really a big puzzle. Um, you know, just because someone reads really well for a role doesn't mean that that's, uh, they're going to get the biggest role, you know? Um, like, for example, we have different age ranges in the show, so we have several fathers and people that have to be kids, so, like, you know, if we have someone, uh, like, for example, uh, Grady Elmore, he plays the character of Charlie. Great actor. Could he have played, uh, you know, the lead of the show? Could he have played any role? Probably. But, you know, we needed somebody in, in a fatherly role, um, so, because he's... Sorry, Grady. He's a little bit older. He can play a father, you know. So it's like a big puzzle figuring out who could go where. And just because you're the best doesn't necessarily mean you get a bigger role. It's where do you fit in the big mosaic that is the show. Now, you know, I'm sure I know you do a, a lot. Of, you, we've been for, out here for a lot of plays. But comedies, it, it's a little bit different because you've got the lines you have to learn. But there's no way to deliver those lines so the audience gets it, right? Absolutely, and this is British humor. Uh, this started in the West End of London in 2011, uh, the show, before it came over here. And there, some of the dialogue was changed for American audiences because we have a different kind of humor, you know. But there's still a lot of that kind of dry British humor. Definitely still farcical, and so the delivery is paramount. And, of course, there's a lot of physical comedy, pratfalls and hits and all that that you've really got to nail for it to work. And even if it's just slightly off, it's, it's more cringy than, than funny, you know. Right. you got to nail it. Oh, God, there's nothing worse than this is supposed to be funny, and it's not funny, and oh, my God, it is it's it is cringy. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, look, we're going to be here all morning long with Mitchell. we got Ryder. We're going to get Ryder, who plays the lead in this, to fall down a lot. So that's going to be fun stuff. So we're going to go back to you, Alex. There's going to be falls. There's maybe some screaming. We don't. It's going to be a good morning. Trust me. Okay. Well, looking forward to it, Al. Thank you so much.